uh, Devesh sir. Oh yes, ma'am. Can you please make me and uh, Fatima ma'am uh, as co-host? Oh yes, ma'am. One second. Morning, Fatima, ma'am. Good morning, ma'am. Hello, everybody. Uh, Renuka, ma'am, uh, shall we start? I feel, um, hello, everyone. I feel we should wait for another four minutes because we've given at 11.30 time. So let's wait for participants to join in. Okay. These are my thoughts, but you can take it the way you guys wish to. No, no, we'll wait for some time, ma'am. Uh, let them join. Yeah, sure. Uh, okay. How are you, ma'am? All well. Uh, thank you, ma'am, for asking. Life is kind. Uh, everything is... Well, the best part is that it keeps me positive everywhere else and negative on COVID. And I hope it continues <laughs> to do so. <laughs> That's very true. Uh, uh, like How your, are you all doing? How's your family and all? All well? Yes, ma'am. All's well. And like we are having, even we are having online classes and all. Uh, might be you, you all must be having the same thing. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. We started uh, within two weeks of time, ma'am. Uh, ah. we, we, we started Zoom sessions. We started Google Meet. And everything happens uh, online. Even, e even on our side uh, in Ajmer, we were the first one to start off with our online classes. Like by the uh, first week of April, I think we had started with our classes. Oh yeah, likewise, likewise. Excellent. Very good. Excellent. Uh, uh, our director, sir, is also there, ma'am. Uh, Hello, sir. Us. Good morning. Uh, so shall we start now? Like almost 47, 48 students are there. So, uh, uh, sir, you can unmute yourself. You need to unmute yourself. Uh, let's just stick to time protocol. Uh, okay, so two minutes or more, sir. So, 11.30, yes, yes. yeah, sure. 11.30, we'll start off. Ma'am, uh, Fatima, ma'am. Yes, sir. Uh, actually, Renuka, ma'am, visited your institutions probably two years back. And there was one more gentleman home, sir. And okay. they had great feedback about you. Oh, that thank you. I immediately jotted down your name that in a year or two, we have to invite her physically or whatever way it is possible yes. for your session. I have really heard a lot about you. You are extraordinary. Thank you. Thank you so much. And uh, yes, uh, I'm hoping to uh, see you, sir, in person. That would be lovely. And uh, the best part of it is that in these times that are so unprecedented uh, one of the things that we institute and the education system what we're doing is we're holding the fort right. so you know we are the ones who are keeping our students motivated and engaged and and that's the beautiful part of it so yes i hope to see you all in person too um, shortly once things stabilize sure but we are still not named as corona warriors <laughs> that will, I guess that will take some time for us to be able to get qualified over there. But yeah, slowly we will get there. Right, right, right. Um, okay. Now, all the students who have joined, I request you all to please switch on your videos as uh, we had informed you that during this webinar, your videos need to be kept on. Yes, and I would love to see you guys. I mean, don't make me talk to a laptop. Come on. I'm a human and I love human beings. So it, it would be great if I saw you. It would be just lovely if I saw you. Uh, Rinko, ma'am, I think we can start now. Yeah, sure, sir. Okay. So uh, I request Devesh, sir, to uh, introduce Fatima, ma'am, and then uh, we
we can start with the session. Yes, Devi uh, sir. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, dear students. I hope you all are doing well, and uh, you and your family members are happy, healthy, fit, and fine. As you all know, that we are here in this meeting for a webinar, and uh, like uh, we are here in this meeting for a webinar. So once again, I got the opportunity. I get the opportunity to welcome you all. Okay, so I welcome each and every one of you wholeheartedly uh, in this webinar. So let's start this webinar with this Sanskrit shlok. Yatra nariyastu pujyante, ramante tatra devata, yatra nastu na pujyante, sarvastra trafala hakriya. That means where women are honored, divinity blossoms there, and where women is not honored or you can say where women are dishonored okay no action no action no matter how noble it may be remains unfruitful my dear friends a woman with a book and a pen has the power to move nation a woman with mind and with voice has the power to change the world and fortunately, today we get a chance to welcome a woman who chose her career by her own, made her career with a lot of passion and hard work. And today she is ruling with dignity. Yes, my dear friends, the speaker for our today's webinar is Ma'am Fatima Abbas, HOD at PIBM, that is Pune Institute of Business Management. And today she will let you know about the basics of GD and PI. At PIBM, she is working on course planning and standardization, content and framework building, mentoring, training, and counseling the students, and competency building. She also has been awarded with various accolades such as winner of the Golden Wings Award for CSR activities, crowned Mrs. Pune 2006 by Sakal Group and Maharashtra Herald, won WNS Fashion Icon for 2009 and 10, and also awarded as star performer for outstanding performances for five consecutive years. So ma'am, many congratulations to you. Regarding her education and other qualification, she is BA and BA in English, passed her IELTS test from the British Council Board, certified corporate trainer program from Dale Karnik, personality development and art of grooming program from IITC Mumbai, and property and liability insurance and underwriting course from IIA, that is Insurance Institute of America. She is result driven uh, result driven training and development professional with 15 plus years of experience having professional association with various companies such as HDFC Life, Tata Honeywell, Hitachi, Citibank, Wipro and many more. Apart from this, she has also developed and delivered various workshops on the topics such as leadership skills, motivational skills, change management, customer uh, centricity, life skills, culture uh, sensitization, motivational workshops, team synergy workshops, and many such others. And believe me, guys, this is the very short introduction about her. And it will take another half an hour if I give you the full introduction about her. Uh, so ma'am, on behalf of all the students and the staff of RN College Ajmer, I welcome you. I welcome you wholeheartedly. And please forgive me if I had made any mistake to introduce you with these students. Uh, welcome, ma'am. I already transferred the co-host to you. Uh, in case you want to share your screen, uh, you can. And uh, over to you, ma'am. Thank you so much, sir. I mean, that, my was, pleasure, uh, that was an explicit introduction about myself. Director, sir, Renuka, ma'am, thank you so much for inviting me. And my dear students, I am thrilled to see you all. Thank you so much for 
logging in in time now this is one of the greatest competency that all cop develop uh what devesh sir talked about that 15 years of experience now i do not want you all to start guessing my age okay now don't do that i would not like it uh i have i started working with the academics post my stint with the corporate and hence uh, what i'm going to offer you today is exactly what the corporate needs because with pibm i am in the role of the hod but at the same time i also do a lot of freelancing for organizational behavior and leadership training for corporates so the intent to share with you this is all the latest do's and don'ts of gdpi and what is it that the modern hr needs is what i will bring forth to you on this table today now before i start i i'm sure all of you will agree with me that each one of us we would want to we would wish to to make our own lives i mean all of us we want to travel the world all of us we want to have a car of our own a house of our own and a good bank balance and trust me i'm not saying that i want my fathers or i want to get married to a rich guy or i'm going to become the ghar jamai of someone and get it but no i want to do it on my own so if that is your vision of life i need you to know that it is all possible and the first step my dear lovely students is to be able to get yourself in a good corporate organization because that will be the platform that will maneuver the rest of your corporate uh, career life so i'm sure all of you that is your dream to be able to become something to be able to be the architect of our own lives to be able to get into a organization i'm sure all of you know that the first padhao like shri amitabh says the first thing that we need to do is to clear our gdpis so that's exactly what you and i will be talking about for this next one hour i want you to please make notes because that will help that's my guarantee the other thing is please ask questions because without a question uh, you know we will not be able to move forward so any doubts that you have please ask the rest the other thing is that we will respect the speaker so whichever student is is asking a question the rest of us will ensure that we respect him or her so request all of you to please be muted only when you have a question please unmute yourself and ask and let's make this an interactive session yeah uh, let's ensure that this 60 minutes that both you and i and all of us that we uh, we have scheduled in our lives let's make it absolutely productive and fruitful so the plan is i will talk about some do's and don'ts of gd say for 20 25 minutes and then i'm going to give you some insights on pi for the same amount of time and then i'm going to leave the room open for any questions that you have well having said this in case if you feel that while i'm talking if there's something that strikes your mind and you say oh, oh okay stop 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 adam ma'am i need to ask you a question there please raise your hands or please put it on the chat box and i'll be absolutely happy to answer that fair enough guys Show me a thumbs up, all of you. Come on, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, super cool. All right. So, uh, thank you. Wow, that's cool. Thank you. So, I've understood that uh, most of you are in your last year of your graduation, and most of you will now start with this journey of getting into GDPIs. So, let's talk about GD. So, who can tell? As per you, what is GD? What happens in a GD? come on tell me something that you you would have known of yes you could raise your hands and then i will invite you to contribute yes rudra please what are your thoughts rudra yeah good uh, good morning ma'am uh, this side rudra the yep. uh, according to ma'am group discussion is that uh, a topic is given to 5 to 10 people according to the strength of the group and they discuss okay. on that so okay. different people put their different different aspects what they think about and okay. uh, on the basis of i think uh, the company hr persons are looking for 
how they could communicate how they could uh, well talk about a particular topic in yeah, yeah. Uh, front of many people thank you okay perfect rudra thank you what about you tripti i'd love to hear from you what are your thoughts good morning ma'am ma'am um, ddpi means it express the point on the on the on your self on the on your points way it is called a gdpi okay to express okay. the some points and right. topics about that all right perfect so let's understand gd as one element and let's understand pi which is personal interview and another element so gd well absolutely all of you can resonate to what i say it's called group discussion the first thing that you need to know boys and girls it is a filtration process so what does fatima mean by filtration process imagine that you have hundreds of candidates okay now now say for a uh, profile where they need 10 people there would be hundreds of candidates that would apply so for for an organization or for their human resource uh, people it would be extremely time consuming to be able to take interview of all these 100 people because it's not possible right i mean every every interview will almost be for 8 10 minutes so you can multiply that that 10 into hundreds of people and then you could get your math there so it's very time consuming to be able to meet all these 100 students so what they do to be able to do this in a stipulated time and to be able to save time there is this concept of gd that has got in, introduced which is called group discussion here you will have 10 or 12 people who will be put together in a group they will be given a topic and on certain parameters they will get uh, their scores and on the basis of the scores they will pull out one or two people that they feel fit for the profile or the ones who scored more now in that 10 minutes out of 10 people they have got their one or two finalist so in one hour if you do the math again you are able to knock down 60 students and in one hour you get your five eight to six finalist or or sometimes less sometimes more so it is absolutely time saving now that's the way they are able to get their finalist so a lot of us what we do is we prepare ourselves for pi and we absolutely negate the thought that gd is very essential if you're not able to clear the gd you will not get the opportunity to get into pi so your first your first priority should be that you have to crack your gd rounds so let's understand what are the parameters that these moderators look at now i need you to know no matter which sector no matter which profile no matter which job role or task role you will be employed with the gd scoring parameters they remain same throughout there are five parameters that editor will score you on yeah so let's quickly make a note of these five parameters the first parameter is uh, will definitely be your your verbal skills all right and i'm going to speak about each of these for two or three minutes in detail so the first one is your verbal skills the next one they are your non verbal skills the third one is called leadership and team synergy that's the third one the fourth one is your initiative and conclusion that's parameter number 4 and the fifth one is your content so these are the five parameters that every moderator will score you now the 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 scoring pattern would differ from an organization to organization so say each parameter would be out of 5 which cumulative gives you a 25 or each parameter will be out of 10 which cumulative will give you 50 all right but these are the only five parameters so the point is and the question is that fatima ma'am what should i do to be able to score in all parameters you would have realized and i'm sure that your institute is giving you a lot of gd practice you would have realized that there are times i have a lot of content but i still don't get selected or i speak a lot you know i'm the one who's all the time talking in the gd however 
at the end, I'm not the one who has got selected. The reason is, if you concentrate on just one parameter, you would get score on that parameter, but the rest of the parameters, you may score a zilch or a zero. So at the end of the day, your average or your sum total would be lesser than the rest of the people in the group. So your endeavor, your objective should be, how should I score in all these five parameters? So let's understand each of these parameters in detail. We have understood, number one, we've understood what GD is, yeah? Now, all of us, we know it's a filtration process. If we don't perform there, no matter how good scorecard I have or report card I have, I will not be able to move to the next round, which is a PI round because I wasn't able to crack the GD. So the first thing, the foundation is, you know why GDs are conducted. Now, what we're gonna talk about is what are the parameters? parameters and the third thing that i will talk about is what are the types of gds yeah so these are the three things that you and i will talk today i'm done with one let's move on to the next one what are the parameters five parameters as i mentioned the first one my dear lovely students the first one is definitely your verbal communication now in this verbal communication what all do i need to keep in mind first is definitely your language. Now, which language am I talking about, guys? Which one? What language? Which language do we use when we go for GDPIs? Yes, please. Um, Barsha, yes, tell me. What language? You have to, English. Hey, Fatima, ma'am, that's so unfair. Yeah? We live in India and in Hindi is the national language. And, and why the hell do they uh, score us on, on English? You need to know that English is a business global language. Yeah? And now that we are a global village, see, we will be working in MNCs. We will have our colleagues, our, our vendors, our channel partners, our clients who are situated across the globe. So consciously, the IPA, which is the International Phonetic Association, consciously, they have come to this conclusion that they, we need one language which is spoken, understood, comprehended across the globe. I feel that's a good decision. Because imagine if tomorrow, if you have to travel to a China or Japan or anywhere else, you don't have to learn Chinese or Japanese. Everywhere you go, English is used as a standardized language, hence, all the corporates, all organizations, yeah, they will mark you on your language. It is a no shortcut, no brainer. You have to know English. So please work on your language. If, if some other time I have an opportunity, I will also talk about how do you build this language into you, yeah? But right now we will only focus on GDPI. So your verbal element or your verbal scoring they will score you on your language. They will score you on your vocabulary. Now, vocabulary means words. So I'm not asking that we, we need to know all the 80,000 words in, uh, in the dictionary. I mean, I don't need to know what's the scientific word of cockroach. I'm not going to use that, right? Would you? No. But what is important for us to learn, they are the business terminologies or business words. So at least you should be able to do that. There are certain apps that you can train yourself. Apps like Magoosh, M-A-G-O-O-S-H, write it, yeah? Uh, or Google Words. These are apps that you could install on your phone and they are very easy to use and every day you could use some new, uh, learn some new business words. If you want to fix your language, there is, this, uh, there is this app, which again, you could install on your phone, which is called Hello English. Beautiful app. This is what I suggest my students. Uh, it's a yellow color sun icon. Use that app if you want to fix your language too. Yeah. So the next thing what they judge in verbal aspect is your vocabulary. The third thing what they keep in mind is your tone of voice. People, it's not just what you say, but are you saying it with conviction? Is your tone of voice appropriate is your volume appropriate yeah so these all three sub elements are marked on this one scoring parameter called verbal your language your vocabulary 
and your intonation or your tone of voice. All these three are considered to score you on your first parameter called verbal. The next one is nonverbal. What do you think nonverbal is? What do you think nonverbal is? Yes, Vaibhav. Uh, Ma'am, communicating with others with the help of gestures, symbols. Ah, absolutely. So, yes, absolutely. So wherever I'm not using my voice, but the rest of my 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 body parts, that is nonverbal. So sometimes, boys and girls, what mistake we do is we may have content, but our nonverbals are not correct, which means we don't sit upright or we don't look interested or when when the rest of the team members are talking we are not nodding yeah so say if fatima is talking i need to see bhagyashri nodding and saying you know yeah i get what fatima is saying because at the end of the day it is a group discussion it's not an individual contribution it's not an individual presentation group discussion means that you as a group are able to infer you as a group are able to come to some kind of conclusion or analysis on that particular topic so you need to look interested that's one of uh, you know a fatal mistake that most of us we do that we speak our points and then we are lost in some amazon uh, or uh, you know some sahara deserts we need to look interested that's that's the other nonverbal. Also, how are you using your, your hand gestures? So say if you want to intercept, which means if somebody's talking and you want to contribute, are you using your hand saying, I would like to contribute, please, or allow me to contribute, please? These are all nonverbals. Or if somebody, uh, you are talking and somebody else intercepts, how do you stop that person? So you can't look at that person and say, shut up, I'm talking. Can't you see that? No, you can't do that, right? So how are you stopping that person with your nonverbals? You will use your sign and say, allow me to finish, please. So these are some nuances. They are absolutely trivial, small. But I need you to know that all these get into your scoring board. A lot of students tell me, Fatima, ma'am, I had good content, but they fail to realize that the rest of the parameters, they've got a zero because they've not done what was supposed to be done, right? So you also need to be very, very careful about your non-verbals. Do not look fidgety. Whenever you are talking to the group, maintain eye contact. Never look at the moderator. No matter how pretty or how suave or how good looking the moderator is, you don't have to look at the moderator because it's a group discussion you need to look at your colleagues your group yeah so please ensure that these all non-verbals that i've talked about you keep in mind no tapping your feet or no breaking your knuckles or no you know um playing with your pens all this is being watched by the moderator do you know why because they want to check that tomorrow if you are in the meeting with their clients, if tomorrow you are, you are in the meeting with their leadership team or your own team, how is your behavior in that particular meeting? They don't want people who are not concentrating or who are not interested in listening to others. Yeah. So you, you need to keep these nonverbal nuances in mind. The third one, content. How do you build content? Who can tell me? How do you build content? Come on. A lot, a lot of students say, Fatima, ma'am, you know, I can talk, Magar, I don't have the content. So how do you build content? Anshul, yes, please. Ma'am, research. Research, very good. Divyanshu? Ma'am, first of all, listen to them. Okay, so first you listen to them. All right, so there are multiple ways. Content is not found in the market. You can't go and say, Bhaiya, pao se ya adha kilo content de do, right? It's not possible. Each one of you need to build content. Now, 
there are various ways a as anshul rightly said research b read the third one is for abstract topics yes in you need to have your own thought process so that's the way you build content topics see there are various types of topics one of them will be current topic right it's easy to build because whatever is happening in the news you will be able to talk about that or something which is related to technology or economics everything is available on the internet your best friend google bhaiya yeah you go there and and you will find everything so it's easy to build content the only thing what you need to do is keep your antennas open you need to keep reading to be able to get content but what about abstract topics so say topics like uh pink pajama in the red fort now these are abstract topics or topics like shunya or topics like um green is the new black these are all abstract topics or uh, roses and wings these are abstract topics right so right now the iims they ensure that the gds are more of abstract topics listen to me very carefully all of these uh, great companies and organizations they ensure that the topics are abstract topics why because current topics they know that the students will read from the internet and they will exactly spurt out whatever they have read but they are not going to do the analysis they are not going to use their brains for an abstract topic there is no content out there you need to be able to think on your own you need to be able to put your own thoughts and opinions so how do you build abstract topics you build abstract topics by practicing you know so so say once a week think of an abstract topic and then think what all you could add if i have to talk about this particular bottle i know most of us will only talk the size of it the material of it and what is it used we will never get to the extent of doing a pestle with this particular bottle what i'm trying to tell you is you need to train your mind on 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 content so please uh, pick up a topic at least once a week and talk to yourself talk to yourself think that what all i can add in this particular content so content is extremely important as divyanshu rightly said sometimes we may not know that topic right because of course we do it's not possible for us to know everything on this planet earth here yeah? so at that point in time what to do at that point in time you will let the rest of the people speak and then once you have understood the topic you will make your own opinion your own suggestion your own thoughts i need you to know that content is not just data points from google it's very easy copy pasting is very easy guys but a moderator will appreciate if you put your thoughts if you put your own opinion in that particular gd so in case if you feel that you don't know something about a a, a topic and you don't have the data points or you don't have uh, you know the percentage or so on don't worry think about what the rest of the people said and give your thoughts and opinion yeah so that's the third parameter your content the fourth parameter uh, is your leadership and team synergy as i told you once you join a business world or a corporate world when i say corporate guys i'm i'm not just in thing mncs okay when i say corporate i mean any sector uh, or specialization that you would be working in i'm talking about the business world i'm talking about the professional world so if you join that none of you will work in silos right each one of you will be working in a team or or you will be handling a team so what they want to check is do you have the competency of team synergy do you contribute and do you allow others to contribute to so students who say fatima ma'am i spoke so much 
I was the one who spoke for five minutes out of 10 minutes, but still I didn't get selected. The reason is because they got minus marks there. They were the only ones to talk. They didn't allow somebody else to contribute. Yeah. So you must keep that in mind too. You must allow people to contribute too. And what is leadership? Leadership is ensuring that the topic does not get digressed. Leadership is ensuring that when people, you know, are, are digressing from the topic or when the group becomes chaotic, have you uh, had this experience? Everybody's talking, it becomes like a fish market. And I need you to know the moment that happens, the entire group gets disqualified. So even if you're one of the best student and you're the first ranker, if you're a part of that group that created the fish market, and if you were not able to control, you get disqualified. So these are some leadership traits that you could display. You know, bring your group back if they are digressing. You have to be polite though. And uh, you know, if you see that the group is becoming chaotic, tell everybody that, hey people, you know, let each one of us or uh, one, one at a time, please, let's not create chaos. So these are certain aspects that you should do if you want to score on leadership and team synergy. The last one is initiative and conclusion. So Fatima ma'am, are you saying that the one who initiates the topic gets score? Absolutely. Why? Because that person had the confidence to start. So why not? Yeah. So whenever you initiate a topic, whenever you say, hello, everybody, my name is Fatima and our topic for the day is Vodafone is launching 4G, you know, on the moon. And I would first like to start my thought process. So I feel it's an absolutely out of the box innovation that Vodafone is doing. So please contribute something when you initiate, contribute your thoughts, your data points, you will get scored there. So everybody who initiates gets scores there and everybody who concludes. Do you know what is conclusion? When, when does that happen? Conclusion happens at the end of the GD, all right? So the person who concludes that today's GD was very fruitful and these are the points. So whatever everybody has talked, if that person is able to conclude, this person will also get scores. So who can quickly tell me the five scoring parameters? Uh, Siddharth, yes, please. Some verbal skills, yeah. non verbal skills, our content, our leadership skills, our initiative and conclusion. Absolutely. Leadership is not just leadership, it's leadership and team synergy. Okay. So you team also synergy. have to, yeah, you also have to show that you're a part of the team, you're respecting everybody's opinion. GD is not a debate. I need you to know this, guys, please. GD is not a debate. You don't have to prove somebody else wrong and prove your point. Now, this is where most of us do mistake. We don't have to prove our point right by proving else wrong. So GD means if somebody else is talking, we respect their points. But at the same time, we also have the assertiveness and the capacity to put forth our own points. Now, this is called group discussion. That's the reason why it's called GD and not debate. Think about it. Yeah. So uh, you, you need to display that you respect your own thoughts, but at the same time, you also respect the thoughts of the other people or in the group. Now let's talk about what are the types of GDs. Now, this is something which the modern HR has started. Yeah. So gone are those conventional days, where they would give you a topic and say, Okay, everybody, talk. Gone are those conventional days. Nowadays, they have not only become modernized in terms of their topics, they have also become modernized in their methodology of executing uh, uh, GDs. So let's understand what are the different types. The first one is where they just give you a topic. And this topic can be political, global, economical, current affairs, or abstract. 
everybody with me so far so good everyone hello hello yeah very good thank you ishika has like two thumbs up thank you all right so uh the topic could be once again i repeat it it could be uh, abstract or current or economical or political or global or or something to do with technology it could be anything they will give you a topic and they'll say you have 10 minutes as a gd and you have to speak that is the conventional way the other ways that they've started is they will show you a picture it's called picture gd they will show you a picture and they'll say okay as a group comprehend what have you understood and what do you decipher from the picture that's another style another type the third one is video so what they do is they show you a video or a documentary of two or three minutes and they say okie dokies group your time discuss on this particular video yeah the fourth one is they give you a case now this is this is really interesting okay they give you a case uh, they 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 ask you to read and then at the end there are two or three questions then they leave the gd open they say okay this is your case now all of you please discuss on these questions now again while you are discussing the moderator is marking you what is your contribution how is your behavior how is your attitude are you allowing people to speak or not are you contributing or not so while you're discussing these answers or the case they're marking you the other one is an audio file so they they give you some um, audio piece of any excerpts and then they say okay now you will discuss this as a group what was the audio all about what are your thoughts do you agree with with what the speaker said so on oh they uh, the latest thing with i am is uh, they have also started showing short ted talks i'm sure all of you know right what ted talks are and what podcast are yeah so they start showing them ted talks or podcast and they say talk about your thoughts do you think the speaker is right or what is your contribution on this particular topic that the speaker is saying so these sometimes they also hey sometimes they also give you a um, you know some kind of graph or pie chart they will just put it on the screen they'll say okay this is your data points infer what do you think why is there a rise or why is there a fall and which year there was a rise and rise of how much and what could you anticipate so there are multiple ways students that they do a gd consciously what you have to do is start preparing for all these multiple ways of gd rounds so gone are those days where we all felt gd means 10 people topic and then you talk on these topic no they have changed and the other thing i want you to know most of the organizations now they want to or they 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 consciously give you a abstract topic because they want to know what are your thoughts kahan tak aap apni soch daura sakte ho how much can you think out of the box one of the topics that i did for my student is on the whiteboard i just put a black dot i said well that's your topic other one is a is greater than b is greater than c that's your topic so i know it's tough at you know uh, at the first instant you keep thinking oh my god i mean what do i talk about it but then that's how you need to start training your mind it could be so many things that you could talk about your accelerator brake clutch a greater than b greater than c or the hierarchy in every organization a is greater than b is greater than c or the way uh, schools are uh, you, you know the 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 educational grading system a is greater than b is greater than c you could talk about so many things you just have to start thinking out of the box now that's what they want to check are you the candidate who can think out of, of the box any questions on gd have we understood whatever i've been trying to tell you all any questions 
whatsoever that you have or you know if you would have realized that you did this but you you don't know whether you were right or wrong do you have any queries on uh, gd how many of you have yes siddharth please i'm like uh, someone gave their point of view and we are not agreed with that so humko unko batana chahiye that we are not agreed main wohi to bol rahi hu sweetheart why why say that you know what i don't agree because your point is hopeless it's not a debate. like uh, we are not denying their point but can we further matlab hum hamara point of view rakh sakte hain unke samne absolutely absolutely to aisa absolutely so you can very politely say well fatima these are your thoughts and i would politely like to disagree see i'm saying these words but i'm still being polite right so i'm not hurting your 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 feeling and at the same time i i, I will say siddharth i would like to put my points too and these are my points so you can tell them that well i i respect your points however i politely disagree with your points and these are my points of course you could do that siddharth however what i'm asking you to see most of us know we get into the defensive zone we say siddharth sorry uh, friend i don't agree to your point because that's not the truth why do you have to say that's not the truth how have you identified ke bhaiya wo sahi hai ya galat yes so rather than demeaning anybody what i'm saying is it's that person's point of view respect you can disagree politely and you can put your point forward yes sudhar thank you ma'am yes ma'am welcome anybody else any questions yes anshul please Ma'am, I wanted to ask about leadership. Like, is there a leader in every group discussion? And if yes, then who decides that who like who get to be the leader? The group itself or the uh, the coordinator decides. Anshul, I need you to know that there is not just one leader in a group. Yeah. So hmm. if I say that there is a parameter called leadership and team synergy, I'm not saying only one individual out of the ten will get the score. Why? say for example uh, a lot of people were talking and then anshul said hey everybody this is becoming chaotic it's becoming a fish market can we all take chances please fatima who is the moderator gave marks to anshul leadership then what happened is the same group on economy of china they started talking about economy of america at that point in time rahul Uh, rahul says hey everybody we are digressing guys the topic is not economy of america the topic is economy of china rahul saxena also will get one point from the moderator because he he also uh, you know showed leadership right now say fatima was very quiet fatima was not talking and every time fatima wanted to talk somebody started talking mehul realized that mehul said oh my god you know what fatima is trying to talk but nobody is giving her a chance <laughs> so very politely mehul will tell everybody hey you know what uh, let fatima also talk moderator ne ye dekha mehul will also get a score on leadership so can you see in that one gd the moderator who can become the leader or who should become the leader yeah it is they, your act that you do there is yeah. no single person who leads anybody can lead if like absolutely unsure if you have the capacity you lead if you have the confidence you lead and you will get your score the, the leaders will get extra marks right absolutely absolutely okay and i told you right you do should do to be able to get the extra marks Yes, okay. please. Varsha Advani, you have a question. Okay, Divyanshu, you have a question. Sorry. So, yes, you are. Uh, I want. Uh, I said. 
my point of but they test access karna hai wo mujhe pata nahi to fir na wo tag kar sakte hain to hai to samne wale ko matlab wo sunna acha nahi lagta kaat dete hain point i'm sorry i was not able to hear her completely is there anyone who's understood her point and who could repeat it for all of us on the group because she was not clearly audible yes siddharth please have you understood what uh, varsha was trying to say yes please when she is trying to say like if she is speaking something and someone just cut their point and start speaking their own So at that point so in time, should we do yes. At that time, so at that point in time, Varsha. So say Varsha, you are talking, and I, Fatima, interrupted. You have just started to talk. आपने अभी-अभी शुरू किया है बोलना. And Fatima interrupted. You can very politely look at Fatima, show your hand gesture, and say, Fatima, allow me to complete, please. अगर आप वैसे बोलते हो, moderator भी समझ जाता है that you want to complete. and fatima will also understand that varsha needs to complete i'm sorry i'm trying the call hai aur pata hai ko mai text varsha your voice is not clear sorry varsha your voice is not clear sweetheart i'm can i write the text oh yes please 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 go ahead please 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 go ahead okay any other questions that you have for gd divyanshu do you have 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 a question because your hand is raised if no, not hello here divyanshu please yes, unmute yourself yes please ma'am how can we come out of the trap if someone is start debating with us okay so very good question divyanshu excellent question so if somebody is trying to debate with you do not get into the trap because the moderator is watching sometimes what and i'm sure divyanshu you would have realized this sometimes the gd is between two people this one says something then this one says something then again this one contradicts again and the rest of the people are only watching ke liye yaar tiktok tiktok game dono ke beech mein hi ho raha hai now if you are the wiser one you will uh, try to not fall into that trap yeah so you will very politely tell that person okay the, those were your your thoughts i respect that these are my thoughts now can we allow the rest of the uh, group to talk as well you got a point on leadership dude yeah yes webber um uh, ma'am i want to note that uh, <clears throat> while discussing the points with our teammates like uh, and while uh, sum summarizing all our points to the uh, leader to the main uh, person who is there for our gd like if we say uh, something wrong or like if we say something uh, point which is not we like to say then how we will correct it uh well what i understood from your point is when you are summarize markdown is what you are saying no ma'am i i i would like to say saying? that no ma'am i would like to say that like uh, if we summarizing all, all our points and if we say something wrong or like the point which we don't want to say then how we will correct it okay so well the way you would correct something which is not right and and uh, you later realize that you very op openly say that well i would like to co stand corrected or uh, however webber yes. i would advise you try and not to do that because you will that pooja you have a question मैम यही था क्लियर हो गया ओके वेरी गुड एक्सेलेंट ऑल राइट थैंक यू मैम यू आर मोस्ट वेलकम माय डियर गर्ल ओके सो नाउ दैट वी वी हैव टॉक्ड अबाउट जीडी एंड दिस इज नॉट अ कंप्लीट क्लैरिटी बिकॉज़ बॉयज एंड गर्ल्स जीडी मींस प्रैक्टिस व्हाट आई डिस्कस्ड विद यू ऑल इज द कांसेप्ट एंड द डूज एंड डोंट्स and uh, you know overnight you will not be able to learn how to crack gds i need you to know that so if you feel that from a sunrise to a sunset you know you at all and you will become an avid gd cracker it's not possible the more you practice the better you become 
So I need you to please remember this, yeah? So please start practicing GDs. And, and I have told you the importance. If you cannot clear GD, you can't get to next round. Yes, Siddharth, please. You have a question, Siddharth, or may I move on? Ma'am, I have a further question. Like uh, you said to take the initiative, like two people take the initiative yeah. together. So how should we decide that yeah. you have to stop or let them speak? Yeah. Siddharth, you have very intelligent questions. So I need you to know this. Suppose aapne shuru kiya aur maine shuru kiya. And both of us are staunch. Okay. We both of us want marks. None of us want to stop. And that can happen, right? Siddharth is also a strong party. Fatima are also strong party. Now what to do? Now both of them are talking together. Now over here, moderator will realize, oh my God, not good. And both of them will lose marks. So what is the wise thing to do? And this is a very, very intelligent question. You all must listen. So say if Siddharth started and Fatima started, both of us initiated, one of us should stop. One of us. So say Fatima will look at Siddharth and say, okay, Siddharth, you can continue. Now over here, Fatima would have not scored on initiative. But what did she score on? Can you tell me what did she score on? She scored on leadership and team synergy because she allowed somebody else to talk. Jaha pe dono would have lost marks, yaha pe at least Fatima scored there. And if Siddharth is intelligent, Siddharth will finish his and he will immediately look at Fatima and say, okay, Fatima, thank you. You can now continue. So both of them will get marks on initiative and both of them will get marks on leadership and team synergy. Just look at this. It's strategy. Aap log seek rahe ho na? Strategy management. This is strategy, guys. Siddharth, have I answered your question? So you start, I start. I look at you and say, okay, please continue. Then once you are done, you look at me and say, okay, Fatima, please continue. So both of us will get marks there. If both of us didn't stop, both of us would have lost marks. But here, dono ko scores mil rahe. Yes, Varsha, please. Varsha, do you have a question? Ma'am, am I audible? Oh, yes, please. Yes, you are, my dear girl. Tell me. How to create impact from her views on audience? How to create impact on the audience? So you're talking in GD or presentation rounds. Where do you want to create impact, Varsha? In GD, impact of our views. Impact of your views. Okay, got it. So keep keep the parameters in mind. Jo I explained kiya tha. Your verbal, your non-verbal, and your content. So if, if you keep these three things in mind, you will be able to create an impact. And impact means you are making your audience feel interested to listen to you. So verbal, non-verbal, and content. That's the way you will create impact in your audience. Thanks, Welcome. Okie dokie. So uh, if nobody has a question on GD, could we please move on to PI now? Are we all ready? Or too much of information. Baap re, how much Fatima ma'am talks, kitna bolti hai ye. Oh God. Yeah? Are we ready for a PI? Okay, super cool. Very good. What is PI? Personal interview. Yeah, it's a no-brainer, right? Everybody knows that. Do you know what are the three things that they look in you? GD mein, there were five elements. Okay, PI mein, there are three elements. Do you know that all the questions the interviewer will ask you, they revolve on these three elements only? Listen to me very carefully, okay? Come on, guys, you're doing very good. Another half an hour or another 20 minutes to go, come on. Yeah, 
I don't want anybody to go AFK. What is the meaning of AFK? Away from keyboard. आप लोग वो खेलते हैं ना PUBG, Counter Strike. I learned this from my student three days before. So I was calling out one name of the student, and somebody said, uh, "Fatima, ma'am, I think he's A AFK." And I said, "I don't know what is AFK." They said, "Fatima, ma'am, you don't know what is AFK." I said, "No." They said, "AFK means away from keyboard." It is one of the terminologies that we use in Counter Strike and PUBGs. So I don't want anybody to go AFK. Okay? Listen, there are three. foundations for pi k s a knowledge skill attitude all the questions that they ask all, all the questions are revolved around only these three elements they want to get from you knowledge your skill and your attitude that's all so all your answers should be in in such a fashion where they are able to understand your ksa knowledge skill and attitude what is knowledge knowledge is your domain knowledge your concepts and hence they ask you questions like you know uh, what is accounting how is accounting different from finance or what is stp or what are the four p's of marketing so these are your domain questions that means they want to understand your knowledge they also want to understand your knowledge of what's happening right now in your domain q if if you are a finance student they will ask you that okay so uh, right now what do you think about gdp of india and why it has got affected aap finance ke student ho aapko finance ke bare mein aaj ki tarikh mein kya ho raha hai wo pata hona chahiye so these are the two types of questions they will ask to understand your knowledge the second s which is your skills so what are your skills your skills to communicate your skills to negotiate your skills to be an optimal user of resources your skills to be you know um adaptive your skills to be uh, hard working or punctual these are the skills so they are, so so they ask you questions like okay talk about your strengths and weaknesses these are skill based question so iske liye you must remember you give them what they want if you say that my skill is i am the apple of the eye of my parent and i'm the john of my friend circle how are they going to use that skill in their organization but if you say that my strengths are i am task oriented i'm goal oriented i'm adaptable they will be able to use those in their organization so there are various questions that they ask you in terms of your skill they ask you what are your strengths and weaknesses they ask you what are the adjectives that your friends will tell you they ask you uh, what was your greatest challenge in life again they are asking you this question not to know ki tumhari life mein sad story kya thi they want to know what did you do to overcome that so understand the psychology behind interviews if you are able to understand the psychology there is not a single interview on this planet earth that you cannot crack because what is an interview you give them what they want it's a need and a supply that's how uh, you know uh, uh, sales happen wherever there is a need and you are able to supply that that's where the sales happen that is what exactly in interview is you give them what they need they need your ksa your answer should be where you are constantly giving them your ksa socho thoda in our self in, in introduction what do we do 
we say hello sir my name is fatima i come from uh, jaipur which is a pink city what will i do if your jaipur is pink or purple or blue but if i said hello sir my name is fatima and i come from a city which knows values which understands what hard work is and that's what i have learned so what is the interviewer understanding about you you are a person of value you are a person of hard work if i say sir i am from mumbai uh, you know a beautiful city a uh, a uh, a uh, metropolitan city what will i do but if i say i come from mumbai which has taught me never to give up and which has taught me to be multitasking for the interviewer i have understood that you are never give up attitude you are multitasking is tarike se aapko apne jawab banane hain give the interviewer what they need in terms of your skills and then the third one the last one is your attitude so they ask you questions like where do you see yourself 5 years from now and imagine what we say uh, so didn't think about it god knows i i live one day at a time it's a good thing you should live one day at a time but are you saying you are like a chicken without a head you don't know which direction your life is going to go you don't have a vision is that your attitude so they are trying to check your ksa 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 on every single question that they ask this is an entire psychology which, which i do for my pibm students i have a series of eight workshops where i do interview psychology with them making them understand ye sawal kyu pucha gaya hai and what is it? they ask you what are your hobbies you know that right everybody they, this is a question right what are your hobbies imagine what we do so my hobby is to cook my hobby is i i i love to ride bikes and i love to listen to music what will they do will they say are i also like to cook chalo kal ghar aa jao dono saath khana banayenge do you think they're going to do that no but if i say sir my hobby is to cook and with this hobby i have learned the skill of analytical i have become creative i can make you know a one ingredient potato i i can make 20 types of dishes i am an avid rider and this has helped me to learn presence of mind this has help me to become adaptable and i love to listen to music this helps me to control my stress level so the interviewer what is the picture that the interviewer made about you you have presence of mind you are flexible you are creative you know and uh, you are very analytical and at the same time you know how to control your stress now tell me one thing the pehla jawab sahi tha ya dusra which is more impactful tell me first or second second absolutely because i am getting the interviewer is getting what the interviewer needs your skills your competencies so you have to keep that in mind people i can keep talking because as i told you pi is a psychology in itself every question that they ask there is a hidden agenda and the hidden agenda is finding out your ksa your knowledge skill and attitude so i can keep talking for hours and hours yeah but i know that we have uh, you know uh, we need to respect the protocol of time so i'm going to open the next 10 minutes for any question answers or queries that you have for me or any questions for me please i have just given you a purview of pi yeah pi is a gamut of things that you have to keep in mind yes weber i'm like interview sometimes ask the questions which uh, get uh, which the person who is uh, giving the interview get confused or get uh, puzzled in it so ma'am how to get uh, come out from that or like how to answer it like intelligently like uh, so that the person who is taking the interview gets also know that how is uh, how the person is giving the answers so one of the yes so one of the things my dear webhav i i i promote and i suggest my students is if you have not understood the question paraphrase ask for details yes sir hi webhav brother how are you 
<laughs> okay. Sorry, so, uh, are don't be sorry. Yeah, it's okay. Come on, it's okay. People, everybody lives in a family, and you don't have to be sorry to have such a cutie younger brother. Don't, don't worry. And I'm like this. Uh, I'm sure all of you have understood. Yeah, uh, I cannot. Uh, I'm not a teacher. I'm not that. Chalo, bacho, bed, jao, padte hai. I've never been like that. Uh, I like to have some humor in my class. All right, Weber. So to answer your question, my dear boy, if you've not understood the question, please ask. The interviewers will not hang you. They will not say, "Acha, you don't know the question. How dare you?" In fact, they like. They like if you counter question. They like if you try to clarify. So, so if you have a question that you've not understood, please ask for clarification. That's number one. the other tip that i give all my students and i will share with you as well if you need time to think see most of us what we do the moment they ask a question if we don't know the answer whatever comes into our th- uh, into our minds we blurt it out don't do that if you feel you need to construct your thoughts ask for time say sir ma'am may i need a moment to to may i take a moment to think please again they are not going to mark you down they are they will not say minus marks for thinking they love people the the interviewers they like people who ask for time to think because they know that you will give a thoughtful answer not just a ad hoc rubbish answer so these are some tricks that you can use web okay okay thank you ma'am yes anshul please most welcome anshul Ma'am, I wanted to ask that the, even if it's not true, then also are we supposed to give the interviewer what he wants, even if it's not ex, just uh, not true. Oh, oh. So what you are trying to say is that you are not good with finance, but still you have to tell the interviewer, "I'm very good with finance." Is that what you're saying? I would not recommend you to do that, because I'm not saying that you may get caught. But what if? you say that one of my strengths is that i'm very good with finance and then if the interviewer starts asking you questions on finance then you are caught red handed your credibility will be lost then the impression then the impression the interviewer will have is that whatever you have said is all lie so i do not promote dishonesty i do not promote dishonesty if you have it accentuate it if you don't have it accept it and say that i am working on it so every day yes sir i'm i'm learning finance that's that's a safer zone to uh, be in okay anshul okay ma'am thank you yes um Yes, most welcome. Yes, yes, Pooja. Oh, ma'am, if interview ask about what are you about passionate about, then how yeah. can we answer it professionally? Very good question. So here, my dear Pooja, you need to exactly talk about your hobbies the way I said. So, sir, I'm extremely passionate about painting, and uh, painting has taught me. not only to be creative but also to calm myself and at the same time i have realized the beauty of colors in life the other thing that i'm passionate about is gardening and gardening has uh, taught me to be very optimistic so although i know that when i plant a seed i have to wait for a very long time but well that is what gardening has taught me that i have to be very optimistic because whatever i sow is what i will reap it will take time but it definite that i will read so what i'm trying to tell you is you can talk about your hobbies when they ask you question about your what you need to remember is talk tumne us passion se tumne us hobby se kya seekha when you only talk about i my passion is painting and gardening it's a cake half baked kachcha cake nobody likes kachcha cake e But if you talk about what you've learned, it's a gorgeous, nice, juicy plum cake, and everybody likes that. Yeah, Pooja. Yes, Gauri, please. 
Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much. Most welcome. Your question, Gauri. Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon, ma'am. My question is that if interviewer is asking you a question and you think that you had given a correct answer, but sometimes it happens that the the panel sitting there laughs or giving different kind of reaction, and that time we lose confidence and. We are unable to give the answer of the next question. So, ma'am, how we have to react in yes. that situation? Yes, my dear girl, and I have to actually apologize because uh, I'm one of them who does this. Okay, so and I tell this to my students that we interviewers, we are cute-looking rascals. We 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 actually we do this. Do you know that we do this? Why? Because we want to stress you out. so e even if your answer is right we will laugh or we will make faces and we will say we want to stress you out why because we are trying to understand your attitude are you the kind of girl who will get very easily stressed out if something like this happens in the professional life or are you the type of girl no matter what you will hold your guard you will hold your patience so sometimes the interviewers they design it like that your answer is right they are happy with your answer they have given you full scores in the sheet but their their reaction is such to make you nervous so that the rest of your interview you will give out of nervousness and then they will catch you there that no this girl cannot handle stress but if you give your answer whatever facial expressions they do you still maintain your confidence you still maintain your poise when they ask you the next question you perfectly answer the next answer you have passed in their test because they have realized that you have the attitude of not getting stressed so my advice to you is don't concentrate on their facial expressions you please keep hold of your confidence you please keep hold of whatever you are answering just be calm and just keep your confidence that is my answer to you thank you so much ma'am most welcome okay any other questions Okay, so uh, well, that will be the last question. Webber, yes, please. Ma'am, I would I would like to ask you that uh, sometimes there is a situation like the interviewer wants to uh, put his point on ours, like uh, our point is also right, but the interviewer say that uh, the point which he think is right, like he stick to it. Yes. So, ma'am, what yes. we do at that time? Yes, Webber, that's that's what they are trying to do to put you in stress and to see whether you get angry. You say no, sir. You are. You are wrong. I have read this. This is correct. Yes, sir. You are right. I don't get anything. They are just trying to check your attitude. But what if if you say, well, sir, I totally respect what whatever you are saying, uh, and very politely, I would like to stick to my points too. Ten on ten, Vaibhav. You've got your ten on ten. that you are an assertive individual you are not aggressive you are not passive you still got a 10 on 10 okay yes ma'am yes ma'am most welcome yes bupendra 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 may i request you to yes. yes. uh bupendra is all not audible maybe uh, bupin yes please good afternoon ma'am good afternoon now i am audible uh, yes yes ma'am yes yes you are ma'am ma'am actually aisa question hai agar apan ko koi question confuse create kar raha hai ya apan ko particular correctly answer nahi aa pa raha hai to apan kya jawab denge wahan par okay so again very good question so people yes, if if you don't know the answer you know most of us what we do we just say uh, sorry ma'am don't know the answer minus marks or then we say ma'am i will learn 
and i will get back to you are where will you get back will you get back to ccd with the ma'am or what not possible you are not going to meet that ma'am again the best way to answer is admit that ma'am uh, i don't know this answer however i would like to try to isse kya hota hai the impression the interviewer gets is a you are honest so when you don't know you are admitting and b is even if you don't know at least you are trying hum kya karte hai we just say sorry ma'am don't know and we let go that is a wrong thing to do so say admit that ma'am i don't know the answer however i would like to try i may be right or wrong so you are also preparing them that see i'm trying you know i may be right this is the skill that the interviewers appreciate rather than saying sorry ma'am don't know or then rather than saying of course ma'am i know the prime minister of india is amitabh bachchan aap dekh lo this is over confidence yes or no so when yes, you don't yes, know yes ma'am yes, yes, admit you don't know but at least you can try to give some answer and tell them that you are trying it may be right or wrong okay kanchan you, last ma'am. question most welcome my dear kanchan last 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 question yes yes kanchan please हेलो गुड आफ्टरनून मैम हाय गुड आफ्टरनून मैम जैसे उसने अभी पूछा कि मतलब हमें कंफ्यूजन uh, है थोड़ा तो फिर uh, हमें जितना भी आता हो उस क्वेश्चन yes. का आंसर थोड़ा बहुत भी अगर हमें नॉलेज हो तो फिर वो तो अपन बोल सकते हैं ना एब्सोल्युटली कंसर्न योर एब्सोल्युटली राइट मगर एक चीज है आपको उनको बताना पड़ेगा दैट मैम आई डोंट हैव कंप्लीट इनसाइट मींस मुझे पूरा नॉलेज नहीं है आई हैव सम व्यूज मैं आई प्लीज से दैट क्या मैं वो बोल सकती हूँ तो एटलीस्ट आप उनको प्रिपेयर करते हो कि आपको सब कुछ नहीं पता बट फिर भी आपको ये अपॉर्चुनिटी हेलो नहीं है तो वी कैन यूज राइट कंसर्न यस मैम थैंक यू मैम मोस्ट वेलकम परफेक्ट All righty so boys and girls i had super fun and it was absolutely lovely talking to you all i wish you all all the very best i wish you all good health please stay safe please stay positive it's very important to to stay positive in life please stay focused yeah you must know what you want in life so please stay focused please give my regards to all your parents and uh, please stay happy uh that was a wonderful session ma'am and like um, as i had uh, recommended your name so i'm happy that yes i did the correct thing and uh, th- that was a, a great session as such so uh, thanks a lot ma'am thank for you. the session thank you very much thank you okay. hey boys and, and girls one last thing oh sorry 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 no issue. one last Keep thing in. yeah one last thing one last thing please practice please practice gd please practice pi maine jo aaj share kiya hai these are just concepts yeah and only by understanding concept you will not learn if i want to if i want to learn to swim if i only read how to swim but if i don't get into the waters i will never learn how to swim yes or no so aaj jo maine aapke sath share kiya hai these are concepts these are do's and don'ts yeah it's not practice so i'm trying to make you understand with an analogy of swimming if you want to swim and if you only read how to swim you will not learn how to swim you will have to get into the waters so today i just made you understand the concept please practice gd please practice pi because it's very important yes or uh, or uh, uh, Rekha, ma'am, please. Yeah, uh, students, I'll uh, share the link for uh, feedback form, so all of you can fill up the feedback form, and accordingly, your uh, after filling the feedback form, you will get a digital certificate also from uh, PIBM. Yay! Wow! <laughs> Superb. <laughs> all right. Okay. Thank you. Thanks a lot, yeah. ma'am. Director sir, thank you so much for. Um, inviting me thank you devesh sir thank you renuka ma'am and thank you lovely students so you, you need 
sir you need to unmute yourself amar sir thank you your mute uh, uh, ma'am thank you so much for your precious time and uh, in future also we would love to collaborate with you on certain things uh, and if you happen to come to rajasthan please do visit us i will sir i will so i have come to ajmer a couple of times i've come to bilwara uh, okay. to udaipur uh, that's where i have my relatives but now i know where my next stop is i will definitely come for sure so any time just let us know a day before sure, rest sure. of the things will take care sure 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 thank you thank, thank you, you so much for your time thank you very much thank pleasure you. pleasure bye 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 people bye bye